Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Right there's M60, and right here's where all the RVs are, so we're M60 RV. Try to keep it simple. Okay, what we wanted to show you is one of our newest additions to our family of family fun vehicles. Okay, this is a 2024 20.3 Nobo. Nobo stands for no boundaries. Why do you think no boundaries? Well, this coach here, guys, if you want to go out and get off the beaten path, maybe just get away from people for just a little bit, not have to plug in, do anything, you have the ability to do it with this coach right here. So let's go around and just kind of show you what all it has, okay? You got your front cap with your front window right here for you as well. You have your rock guard right here. So when you're towing, say for example, rocks come up, whatever it may be, it's not gonna damage the front of your trailer, okay? Then right here, you have your two 20-pound LP bottles right here. What's nice about the 20-pound LP bottles is, say for example, you need some LP, you can just take these bottles directly to the gas station, wherever it is, and just exchange them. You have your power front tongue jack right here, okay? Which will raise and lower the coach for you, okay? And then here is where you have your battery switch right there, okay? So there's your little light right there for you. And then here you can lower and raise the heights. So that way you can get it to the proper towing height and then to get it to be level, okay? Then right here, you do have your battery disconnect. So when you're not using it, just turn that to off and that way that'll help save your battery life for you. You do have the TPS monitor, TPMS monitoring system which is a tire pressure monitoring system. So as you're going down the road, that'll sit right in your truck and it'll monitor the tire pressure for you. Just a little thing right here, little place to store your cord when you're not using it. So you don't have to take it here and it's just flopping around. It's just right there for you, okay? So we come on around to the side here. Nice little thing you have right here. See this, this is a little magnet right here. So you take this door, pop it up, Boom, just sticks. You don't have to worry about hatch, look, hooking it up or whatever it may be. But you have the full pass-through storage right here. This here, once we get inside, we'll show you. This does have a central back system in it, okay? Right here, and you do have the portable cooktop, which we'll show you on the other side, okay? Here's where you have your city water connection. So when you get to the campsite, you can just hook up right here and put it right in there. On this particular coach, for just a 20 foot coach, you got 40 gallons of fresh, 40 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black, okay? So the 40, 40 gallons is your fresh water, is your potable water, your gray water is what comes from your sink and from your shower, and then your black water comes from the stool. Here's where you have the fresh water drain, okay? Then you also have two jacks on the front and on the back, so that way you can help stabilize the coach for you so you're not rocking. Here you do have the slide system, which is on the Schwintec slide system. So it is geared here for you. So that way it always be guaranteed to come straight in and straight out and it does adjust itself. Because the tight quarters, we're gonna kind of walk around this way. Okay, so we'll come on around this way. We'll go on to the back here. Okay, so we're in the back, okay. So back here, when you get onto the other side of the slide for you, you do have the TPO roof on the top, which is the radius, which will give you good water runoff. Do you have the black water flush? So what you do is you just take your water hose, hook it up here, open up your black water tank valve, which is down here, and then you got little sprayers inside of the black tanks. That way you won't get any false readings, okay? And then there you have your dump valves for you too as well, the gray and then the black for you. And there's your low point drains right there. Here's where you can hook up your cable or your satellite. Here's where you have your 30 amp hookup, which is all sealed, marine grade sealed, so nothing can get in and out of there, okay? We come on to the back. Again, you have your fiberglass on the back. You do have the backup camera ready for you, okay? So it's an option that you can get, and you just hook it up right there. You have the monitor that sits inside of your truck, so that way when you're backing up, you can see what's back here. You do have the, the spare tire right here for you. Look at this tire, off-road tires, Goodyear off-road tires. Here's where you do have access to your bunks in the back. Okay, then you do have your bumper back here. Again, the two more jacks in the back. Okay, come on around to the side. There you have some more storage right there. You do have an LP quick connect right here for you. So that way if you wanna do an outside grill, you can do it right there. Okay, now look at these nice Goodyear off-road tires, okay? This also has what they call the Beast Mode package, okay? It's designed for off-road. What is it? This is a truly independent suspension. Look how beefy that suspension is, okay? So what that's gonna do for you 
is on either side, wherever you're at, you go through a pothole, you go through some rough road. This is going to, as opposed to bouncing up and down, like straight up and down, this will have each tire itself will be able to react on its own. So it's going to tow a lot smoother for you. It's going to allow for you to get a lot of different places. Remember I told you about on the other side of that storage, you had your outside cooktop. This is where you hook it up and then you just hook the... Uh, cooktop right up to there here's where you have your outside shower right here so after a day out in adventure you want to just spray off your feet spray off whatever it is cool down you can do it right there you have some outside plug-ins right here okay this is your hot water heater for you right here which is a six gallon gas electric hot water heater okay nice thing nobo does for you is they give you all the specifications right here as you're entering in your hitch weight is 734 pounds. Your unloaded vehicle weight is 5,306. This is big too as well. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,428 pounds. You can get a lot of stuff in this coach. It's 2610 from bumper to bumper. It's eight foot wide. And again, 40 gallons of fresh, 40 gallons of gray, 30 gallons of black, and then your 18 foot awning, which is a power patio awning and does have the LED light strip right there for you. And you do have an outside light right here. So at the end of the day, your adventure, you want to sit out there underneath the campfire, talk about all the great memories that you had and the times that you and your family are going to have just as memories you can do it right here. Okay. So we come on around and again, this is your screen door, which you do have, you can take off here and then shut it. And then you have a little thing here so you can close it so the bugs don't get in and out. So if you want to get a nice airflow, it'll do it right there for you. This also is just kind of a feature point on the Nobos Asdell exterior construction. Okay, that's the aluminum cage construction. The Asdell, what that does for you is you used to have a phylon backers in these coaches, okay? And you'd hear about people having their coaches delaminate. This Asdell won't do that. It absorbs the moisture and then won't allow for the wall to separate, okay? Block foam insulation. The all-new Kurt Beast Mode independent suspension system paired to all-terrain tires. Yes, heavy-duty marine-grade roof decking protected by PVC roofing membrane. Your roof is fully decked, so you can get up there. You do have the Rhino rack up on the top right here for you. Standard solar package that we told you about. Okay, standard more ride step above. Three steps, gonna be real sturdy for you. A 60 by 22 dual pane automotive grade front windshield. Standard cold weather package and then the tire pressure monitoring system. Mr. Cameraman, if you wanna take the camera there, maybe just show them up on the roof so we can show them that it's the pictures are true okay so you can see everything up there like i was telling you it's fully decked so when you want to get up there once a year and just do your yearly maintenance you can do that okay come on down welcome back down to earth good to see you made it safe okay this is the other side of your pass-through storage right here for you okay so now one thing i wanted to show you in the front i didn't point out to is what i just noticed see this right here a lot of us take our pets with us when we're out camping, right? Well, how do you keep them next to the camper? Well, you can just put the leash right there and let little Fido run around and do whatever, okay? So, let's go inside and take a look. Come on in, okay? So now we're inside. This has the dinette slide on it for you, okay? The nice wood look. And Jeff, what did you call this right here, this look? simulated live edge simulated live edge okay so it gives you a real nice look and feel for you okay you have windows on either side so that we can get cross flow air and you got a window right there so you can open it up this dinette here will break down and make into a bed for you see these little uh right here you just set the table on that move the cushions over and then you have some more sleeping space here you have storage underneath the dinette there and then you also have storage underneath the dinette here okay so now we're in the front okay we have our couch right here which this will fold down for you okay and i'll make it into a bed okay i say well boy that just doesn't seem like enough room well what do we have see this right here look at that no boundaries you can go to any one of those places with no boundaries okay so they put it up there for you just to remind you okay now we just take this we undo this here this little panel sits down here and then I flip down my queen size bed 
How nice is that? So the nice thing about that is, is during the day when you're not sleeping, maybe it's raining, you know, the majority of the time when you're out camping, you're outside anyway, have this folded up. If you just want to sit on the couch, have company over, talk, chat, whatever it is, you can do it right there. Okay. Then here we have some hanging space on this side of the bed. We have some hanging space on that side. You'd have two plug-ins right there. Okay. And then you do have a place to charge your phones. Okay, for your solar charger, this is your control for your solar charger right here. Okay, 200 watt solar charger. Turn your light on in there for inside your cabinet, inside your hanging space. Okay, some more uh, plug-ins here for your uh, phone, laptop. Two more regular plug-ins. Here we have some storage here as well. Okay, so now you've got your kitchen area. Okay, you got your couch there so you can sit there. You got two place stools right here so you can sit. Sit on a nice little countertop right here. You got your TV, which is on a swing arm for you. Okay. You have your nice high rise faucet with the large farmer sink right there. Three burner cooktop with the backsplash right here for you. Okay. Then you do have the microwave right here for you. Okay. So that way you want to heat stuff up and do it right there. You have some more storage here. Two more plug ins here. Place to turn your light switch on. More plug ins here for your phone or your laptop. Okay, this here tells you about the Kurt suspension. Okay, the independent adaptive suspension. It's gonna make it a real nice ride for you. Okay, here we have some more storage in there. Then we have our refrigerator right here. Okay, this is a 12 volt refrigerator. Now this is for your tire monitoring system right here. This is what's gonna sit into your truck, okay? To tell you what's going on, okay? So you have that there. Okay, then there is your fuse box right there. Another nice thing on these plugs here, okay? See how that one's red? Okay, this right here is going to be in order to light your three burner cooktops. You don't have to use a match or an extended lighter. Okay, then when you want to turn it on, you just turn it to light. But look at that. In case you go out, the kids distract you, whatever it may be. Okay, you come back, you forgot you had your burner on. If you see this is red, you have your burner on. If it's white, the burner is off. So just a nice little feature. Again, you got your fuse box down there. Here's where you have the bunks, okay? You got a top bunk, which does have a window, does have plug-ins to plug in your devices. Another bottom bunk with some more plug-ins. There's that door right there. Now this here, if you wanna just use this for storage, you can take and fold this up and then you just have all storage right there, okay? Now, on a 20-foot trailer, do you think you'll have central vac? We showed you the parts out there. We'll tell you wouldn't assume that. Look right here, central vac right there. Just hook it up. Sweep it all up, make it nice and clean. Got a great thing, okay? Here you have your air conditioner, which it is all ducted all the way throughout, okay? And this does have the quick cool. So when you open this up, 80% of your air will dump right out of here. 20% will still go through the ducts, okay? Now up here, I forgot to show you this. This is for your heated holding tanks. You just flip these buttons on. You got it for your black tank, your gray tank, and your fresh tank. So you have heating pads on there. So if it gets in the cold weather below the freezing flip those on and then that way that will keep your holding tanks from freezing up for you okay here's where you have the power control for your awning here's where you have the control for the slide room right there this is for that led light on the awning turn just your porch light on turn your interior lights on right there for you okay so we come around we showed you that there this is for your air conditioner control right here and then for your furnace control here you have some more storage some more storage right there Okay, now we go in here. This is your bath area, okay? Here you do have the shower curtain right here, okay? Which is a little handle right there, okay? We'll open it up for you. Here's your solar charging panel, tell you what it's doing for you right here. And then this is your monitoring system where you can tell where your battery levels are, your fresh tank, your black tank, and your gray tank right there. This is to turn your hot water heater on, and then this is to do the water pump. So if you're dry camping, you turn your water pump on. Turn your light on in here, okay? Nice thing that this has for you, this is also has the Shower Meister system. What does the Shower Meister system do for you? Okay, in the old days, you used to have to turn this water on, let it run in order for it to get to the desired temperature. Now you turn it on, this way, the water will go between the hot water heater and the fresh water tank and circulate. Once it gets the temperature it desires, this will turn colors for you. And that way you can turn it on, step right in. You're not wasting any water. Again, another great no boundaries feature. You got your shower surround right here, a place to put all of your toiletries. You do have the skylight up there. 
Here you have the three speed fantastic fan for you so that we can turn that on. It'll do two things for you. It'll help keep the moisture out of here, but it'll also if you open up all of your windows, turn that on, it'll help circulate the air all throughout the coach. Okay, here you have your plastic stool with your foot flush monitoring, flush, flush system. Have some more storage right there. Two more plug-ins, your bathroom sink. Here's where you have your medicine cabinet. Okay, so 2024, 20.3, no bow. Okay, so we just got it in. We haven't got, we just got it in Friday. So we will have a sale price posted when we put the video up for you as well. Okay, so M60 RV, you can visit us at m60rv.com. Come visit us here on live and in person at M60RV, okay? If you have any questions or whatever it is, please email us. You want to see something. Maybe we forgot something in a video, which was, we just found out we did on one of our previous videos. We did make a correction, okay? We're more than happy to go back and do it for you. Here at M60RV, we have a couple of sayings. The great outdoors for less and come in as strangers and leave as friends. You're not a number to us. You are Mr. and Mrs. Cameraman or Mr. and Mrs. RV Whisperer. You're not 776342, okay? We know who you are. We want you to be part of our family. And we want you to send us some pictures when you go out and see this great country of ours. We look forward to seeing you. If you're still here, thanks for watching.